Hey everyone, let's talk about parallelism. What is parallelism? Well, it's consistency amongst grammatical elements and parts of speech must share the same form. So when you think of parallelism or parallel structure, think of consistency. And that can be applied to, to many grammatical elements from verbs, adjectives, we've got adverbs, nouns, and even ideas that you want to use parallel structure. The test prefers consistency. It likes parallelism, so you want to look for that when you're choosing your answers. So let's start with verbs. Running and sliding, they both end the same, and you can hear it, running and sliding. Compare this to how these two sound together, running and to slide. Notice how it changes there. The pattern goes away, running and then to slide. Let's look at adjectives. She is sweet, kind, and funny. So that is correct. So it's adjectives there. Versus she is sweet, a kind person, and funny. So this breaks the pattern here of adding that a. Uh. And let's look at parallelism and ideas. How to dance, how to sing, and how to laugh. That works great because it's got how to and a verb. How to and a verb, and how to, and another verb. Compare that to this last one here. To dance, to sing, and how to laugh. So the test notices these things, so you should start to look for that too. And you can hear it. To dance, to sing, and how to laugh. There's a change in the sound pattern as well. Parallel verb forms. All children should learn reading, writing, and how to count. Notice we've got ing, ing ending, reading, writing, and how to count. There's a change in the pattern, and so that's not parallel structure. Here's the correct version. All children should learn reading, writing, and counting. That's parallel verbs. Here's another version of parallel verbs. All children should learn how to read, how to write, and how to count. Let's try another one. Patrick ate cookies, drank soda, and was sailing. Patrick ate cookies, drank soda, and sailed. Notice we are able to use just one word for each verb and compared to the incorrect, we've got one word for each verb and then was sailing. So notice how parallel structure works that way. Parallel adjectives. John was cheerful, lively, and looked forward to his party. So we've got two adjectives here, but notice how it switches. And what you do is you stick with this. John was cheerful. John was lively. John was looked forward to his party. Doesn't sound right, and it's not right. So here's the correct version. John was cheerful, lively, and excited for his party. And if you check this little trick again, John was cheerful, John was lively, and John was excited for his party. So that sets up our parallel structure and that is correct. Finally, parallel style. Correct the underlined portion of the sentence. Through their relationship with nature and particularly the animals they hunted, the Sioux developed a unique and sophisticated culture. Now this one, because it's parallel style, you want to simplify the sentence and try to figure out what it is the author is trying to say. So we eliminate these extra parts and try to read it without it. And then we can figure out what might, could, what might be missing. Through their relationship, the animals they hunted, the Sioux developed a unique and sophisticated culture. Well, we're definitely missing something. And what could we add to clarify the relationship between the Sioux and the animals? Well, it's through their relationship with the animals. So you'll see that there because it's through the relationship with nature and with the animals. And so that makes it correct. Through their relationship with nature and particularly with the animals they hunted, the Sioux developed a unique and sophisticated culture.